G'day, fellas, and welcome to FFA Nomad. Today, we're playing the Mongols in FFA, but we're just going to play them normally. The, the civilization is considered the worst civilization in FFA, just mainly because when it comes to defending your king, it's not easy to do. So we're going to start off by moving out over onto this east side of the map. The main thing we're going to be looking for is just some form of deer. That's what we want, because from there, we'll be able to gather that deer we can always just throw down our gur on the gold. I'm not too fussed about that. The main thing I'm looking for, though, is just a sustainable food source for the early game. So that's what our focus is going to be on. We've got our we've got our uvu already up here. I do see a little bit of berries, and I saw sheep up towards the north. Still not really enough, though. Oh, 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 oh. Do we just do we just go fight him? I feel like we might. Get the fuck out, man. Get the fuck out. Get on out of here. And now we're going to throw it down right here. I will tower you, bro. Don't even think about it. I'll tower you. He's, he's going to try for it. All right, here we go. We, all, we win these. Oh, do we win these? <laughs> I feel like we do. Alright, I'll take that. He's going to be very, very damaged here. Good luck, bro. <laughs> oh, good luck with that start. Good luck, bro. Two bills. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh man, a little bit, a little bit, uh, like we're getting out, we're getting it on nice and early here with the Mongols. We're going to have to settle for berries. That's going to be fine. Um, he's already wasted his wood now on an outpost. So that's a big thing. So that means no house. That also is going to mean, oh dude, that, that's, 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 oh, that's crazy for him. Um, we could, pro oh, I'm trying to think how we want to go about killing him. Maybe we just leave him until the feudal age. See, the thing is, I'm kind of fearful of... When it comes to gold, he's going to have, you know, that's 70 gold right there. So, well played by him. I think we did a good job to keep all of our villagers alive. I'm really happy that we managed to do that. Um, town center is going to be very slow for him as well. But we need to take him out. We could just tower him. I feel like if we tower him, um, then that that would be probably fine. And we've got, we can do double production here on the Uvu for quite a bit. So, maybe that's what we do. We definitely need to get a scout out. I mean, we don't have to go for a scout because we will get the Khan, but I do want a secondary source of food that's not berries. So I think that's going to be a big thing. So we'll look to do... Let's go... We'll go scout and then into villages. And then let's get our go... Uh, where did we see sheep? I remember we saw sheep up here. There he is. There's the king on the way. So the only thing we got to remember is that we can't really kill him. We don't want to let him his king escape either because this this is the kind of player right here, British Kutu. He's the kind of player who's just going to go donate his king. And not that there's anything wrong with donating your king. It's just that we want to avoid that happening uh, because if that does happen, then obviously we don't get the population for the kill. And that's kind of important. We want that. Now, I think... I don't know exactly where the sheep were. I'm just going, I'm just going to bring this bad boy back and uh, we, can, we can do a little bit of scouting. I don't think he's going to be... You can see he's still building that town center, by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's going to be... Do we go... Do we go into the early racks? I mean, I, I think we do. I think we do. I think we'd just be very annoying. Um, I might even... Where's my king at? King's in here. <laughs> there, there was no winner. There was no winner. <laughs> That's the truth right there, dude. Uh, let's maybe leave... So we can hear him down here. I think he's probably put the TC on um, this. And that's what I just want to confirm. I, I want to just confirm. Did he? Where did he put the TC? Already opens with a scout. No real surprise there. Uh, 
Because he might find himself in a very difficult spot here. We just want to see where the TC is. That's all we care about. Yeah, there it is. No, that's our TC. So where did he put the TC? Nice try. There it is. So we get to see the TC. Wonderful. Let's kill these as well. I normally wouldn't kill these, but just because it's the Rus player. Khan has risen. Now he could look to come over here and siege me down. So I'm just going to try and run that around the back. So he's got food underneath here. So he will be able to get an age up through, but he's not going to have access to wood. So I think if we just tower him right here, like we just kind of keep him in the little box. Now, where do we put our go? Oh, our go is on the wood line. Of course, of course our go is on the wood line, Drunko. We could even, we could even come out here. I don't mind that. Alright, so we're going to go for a cheeky little spear opening here. As I said, I normally wouldn't kill these, but just because we've got the Rus player. So, already got some decent action this game. So, let's move these vills. Actually, we only want to take one, because we'll take this guy as well. And we could probably come out here. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Going out over onto the deer. The, the deer are really, really important. We want to try and maximize deer. We've got... This is Order of the Dragon, so he's going to be putting down out here. We have not found much sheep. I'll say that much. Um, and now we can come through here. So I, I feel like we want to throw an outpost down right here. Probably want to throw an outpost here and then an outpost here. And just kind of leave him locked in. Now he will see us coming 100%. Please, 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 please. No. Oh my god. It's one sheep, bro. Don't... Dude, you just die so quick to that kind of shit. Doing a little bit of long distance, are we? Hmm. How's that working out for you, brother? Alright. And now let's take these guys down here. Okay, so we can go take this deer. I'm kind of tempted to go do it, actually, but... Alright, so that's a nice little start here. Definitely feel like, you know what, we're probably a bit too early on the gold. But I don't mind, because we're over in the corner here. Uh, who is he? He's British Kuti. Now, I gotta be careful that he doesn't go for a bust. He got 100% go for a bust, so I'm just gonna leave these over here. I, I In fact, I wanna go for quite a bit. Um... That's the Vils. He could go for a Kremlin or something. I think he might do a Kremlin down here. So let's keep on the lookout here. Would you guys mind handing in? Thank you. I got spears, bro. Like, it's not happening. It's not happening at all. Like, go on. Just surrender. I want to take damage here. Let's put these inside. Alright, next up. Uh, let's just go take the deer. As I said, I'm not too fussed about this so far. 
My main concern is that he's just going to try and bust. Especially because when this one... So he gets Feudal Age. I think we can just go- we can just keep going big rounds like this. I absolutely don't mind doing this right now. So, I think that this probably- oh, they did reduce the range on it, actually. So let's hand in and let's try and repair this at the back. I think he's just gonna try for a fast castle, but I don't know what the plan is from there. Like, how do you get wood? I think the only real way that he does it is he has to bust out over here. Re really? Really? That was my timing. Beautiful timing right there, Drongo. I don't think I've ever seen more beautiful timing. Uh, and yeah, we can we can repair here, so that's fine. We don't lose the bill. few idle vills out here. Now, if he does go for a pull, we're just going to pull vills straight away. Khan, let's keep you on the move. Now, what landmark are we going to go with? We could look to trade to the middle. I don't mind this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Shit. Now, how do you get... How do you get wood now? So we want to go Castle Age, and then we're just going to, like, Castle Age Koshiks or something? We lost that scout, didn't we? I'm, I'm really taking the Mongols to FFA right now. I oh, was doing long range. I didn't even realize. Oh shit. Oh, cheeky. He's in a bit of a close spot, isn't he? We lose that. So if he was smart, he would make a market. That would be the ultimate play. My girl drops have been amazing this game. Okay. Let's get some repairs going right now. So we'll get arrow slits in as well. Bring one of these spears. Oh, we want to make sure we avoid getting shot down too much. Now he's going to go castle age. But there's not really much he can do. Why don't we add another tower out here? Because this is his closest wood. Alright, now we're starting to kick it up a gear. Still holding on. He's got... He, do, he doesn't even have the gold for a mining camp, dude. Or the wood, rather, for a mining camp. I hate spending my um, my stone like this, but I think we got to spend it. Are you having fun? Are you having fun, British? Kitty Five? I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great time. Yes. 
I mean, he, he's really role-playing here, though. He's playing a nice little turtle civilization. Now, are we just going to go Coral Tie? It's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Let's go step it up. All the bills. It's cashed in. He's going Abbey of the Trim Trinity. Is he just is he just gonna go Imperial Agent here? This is actually sick if he does. I think I'm just gonna trap him trap him down. So we're actually killing his Kremlin slowly. We got three relics we can take as well. Let's let's do that. Oh shit! Oh, he's attack move. Trying to get stone. Let's try to build a keep. Red's giving us a little bit of a scout out over here. I don't like this. Let's check and see who's near red. Nobody's near red. Fuck. That's not good. We might have to think about moving. on our spears. He's, that red is 100% gearing up to take us out or to take people out so we're going to have to move. And I'm going to use my foresight ability. Oh, did he? I don't... I think he built out here but I'm not sure. So basically the plan is... Is three enough? I feel like three is probably enough. Three might even be too much. I'm gonna go get comfy right here. Actually, we want to leave some bills just in case. We could also just hold these bills for Walla Lol. Someone come kill us. Hey, don't worry, brother. I got you. Does he kill me? I think he actually kills me. Probably held up a bit too long. I just, I just know Red's going to come. Oh, 
I warned you, Orange. Now you must pay the ultimate price. All right, let's get out. Get all the upgrades. Get all the upgrades. Now we go big. Our, our town center, we're going to put down here and we're going to start putting outposts around it already. We need to get Imperial, but we also need to get um, more town centers. Like this. So we can pop. Okay. Has Uvu finished? Uvu has finished. Why do I hear something going down? Oh, that's my Uber going down. Dude, I get so scared when I hear that stuff. Oh my god. How long? How long? How long, dude? How long? How long does my step readout just sit there? Oh my gosh. My step out has been there for a while. I'll say that much. So we got three relics here. Oh my, I'm actually a little bit sweaty after that. I can feel myself heating up. That, that, that's how you know it was a good game. And we got outposts out here as well. Let's keep it going. Feels good to get rid of this guy. I mean, he, he, was, he was getting himself into a fight with somebody he couldn't really appreciate the power of. Now, where are we getting our next food sources from? Maybe down here? Let's go down here. We've only got five bills. Uh, let's go pastures. Now, where we need like a pasture center. Maybe the girl will be our pasture center. I'm assuming that does not work. Uh, let's think about upgrades as well. Do we really need double blacksmith upgrades? Probably not. Let's cancel it. Castle Age now coming through for people. So basically at this stage, we just want to chill, but we need to get Imperial. We're going to defend with Walla Lols. We got all of our upgrades. Let's get all of our upgrades. Okay. Got decent outpost coverage coming up now. Uh, two sacred sites on this map as well, so we do need to be aware of that. Probably... Let's get a market down. I think we're going to like two to, two to three more... Uvu's already depleted? Oh yeah, because he was gathering from it, wasn't he? That was silly. So let's get another town center, just because we really need to catch up to where everybody else is right now. We also need to think about Imperial Age. Let's get a couple more bills over here. Oh, we have a market, don't we? It's our it's um our step it out or our silver tree. Alright, what other upgrades do we want through here? Raid bounty. I didn't even think about that. We should we should definitely look to get that. Whistling arrow for the Khan. 
What else do we want to get? The torch damage of all infantry and cavalry? Probably. Let's pick up this one. Like, we want to... Fuck. Fuck. Shit. He's got springles as well. Why do we have no stone? Red, if you attack me, I sack my king to yellow. Stop now, or I send it. You lose because he wins. Okay. I can't buy stone, can I? Oh well, we do not negotiate with terrorists! Ooh, that's a good point. Okay, so how do we defend this? So we're gonna put Vils inside. Let's get our upgrades as well. Let's put our landmark up here. Let's not put our landmark over there. That was quick. Oh, I'm gonna die! The poison! Oh, I forgot about the ranged units, dude. Ah, oh, well played, Red. I, I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, right? It's just a case of two guys in the corner getting themselves down. I could have been the bigger man and left it alone, but I feel like, you know, I was there first. This was my land. I inherited it from my people 6,000 years ago, and now I'm here to reclaim it. And unfortunately for him, you know, he had to go out early, but we also went out. And it's just one of those things where it's like, even though you might be in the right, you know, I remember when I was younger, my pop said to me before he passed, and when I say pop, I mean my grandpa, he said to me, all right, Drongo, I was with my cousin, Glenn. Um, and he said, all right, Drongo, Glenn, you're riding on a motorbike. You go through an intersection, you got a green light, boom, everything's all good. But then you get hit by a truck. Okay, who was in the right, who was in the wrong? And he said, and I said, well, obviously the truck is in the wrong. And he said, no, you're in the wrong. Because when you're riding on a motorbike, it's your obligation to be aware of your surroundings. And you need to be checking every single intersection before you move into it, that there's no one breaking any rules because at the end of the day, while he might technically be in the wrong, you've lost your life. And I feel like right here, there was a big red truck that was barreling down upon us. And it was only a matter of time. Even though we were in the right here, we still lost. So that is it. That's that's gonna be my little, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that, soliloquy. <laughs> I don't know what's a soliloquy, dude. Just came into my head. It's like, here, have a soliloquy. Um, how could have we entered sooner? We could have gone for battering rams. The problem is we definitely made ourselves a target. I, I kind of want to go in and just watch that and see what I could have done differently. Ob obviously, like, let, let's... If we set our reset point as, like, I've just hit Castle Age, what could have we done differently to defend for that? I think we obviously went very big on the boom. I think that was necessary, but we kind of... We needed Imperial. And the thing is, had we been just a couple more minutes, I think we would have been okay. Yeah, this is us here. The other thing was we needed cannon emplacements. We also needed Pax Mongolica, and that was going to be um, our Imperial Age upgrades. Um, so we needed to wait for that, but I didn't have any stone. I, where did all my stone go? I think I was, I was just spending it on spears, right? So that was probably a bit of a mistake. I think if anything, I want to just avoid fighting early on and keep that stone for late game. Um, yeah, other than that, maybe like opening into a, two, a second TC sooner and then killing him in castle. Maybe that was the play. I, actually, now that I think about it, that was definitely the play. Second TC in Feudal Age into a Castle Age. Just do the exact same thing that I did. And then just playing it a bit more defensive. So Spears... Um, 
Look, look at this cluster of kings that we've got. One, two, three, four kings. And then you've got two over here. And then look, oh, geez, look at this king spawn. This is a good king spawn. Uh, yeah, so most normally I notice people move like north and south, but obviously me and orange both moved west. Um, so we got one vill, two vills, three vills. So it's only his king and two villagers that he's got. So we've got a massive lead on him right here. And to be honest, maybe we should have just ignored him in that regard and just like kept playing our game. Like as long as we shut down the wood, he can't really do anything. And as I said, like he spent all of his wood on building this outpost. Um... And yeah, like, we, we were very isolated. It was only Red that we had to worry about. And I kind of knew that Red was going to be coming. Um, just because... Hold on, can I... I need to mute, just otherwise we're going to get so many voices just coming through. Um, we knew Red was going to attack us just because Red was scouting us, right? And that, that's always a good indication if someone's going to attack you. It's if they're scouting you. They want to see what they're up against. Um, but... Yeah, I guess looking back on it... Let's, let's try and dissect a little bit about how we could have played that better. So Spears should have been down here covering immediately. He had enough. Oh, so he only just, that was enough for a house right there. If, if he was, uh, if he was on the ball, he probably would have just used that wood to come down here and throw a lumber camp down. But I don't think he knows about that. He's, uh, I mean, he does know about it now. Oh, no, he doesn't. Still doesn't know. Um, yeah, this is, a, th I mean, this is a really tough position from him f to play from just mainly because of the wooden fortress. What he, what he ideally should have done is not, not finish the wooden fortress. So you leave it until like 175, but because I was killing his bills, he had to, um, or leave it to 99%. But yeah, it's such a huge investment. And you can see, I think maybe even going for a market would have been the play here. So just, you know, he's killed me here. I, I like that he's sneaking these vills in. I, I did not realize that he was doing that. Hence the term sneak. Uh, and he's going to throw down another house. So yeah, I think just going for a market here would have been the, would have been a play. But even then, you, you're just not going to win. That's it at the end of the day. Like, I, I don't know what British Kitty's rank is or rating, but it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like you're up against a Kong 3 player and... We're just going to be... We're just going to find another way. Uh, Marlian's player, absolutely smashing it, by the way. 3TC cow boom, 100% the way to play Marlian in FFA. And this is the thing with Marlian's. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes on to win this uh, because with the Marlian's, you need space and you need time. And that's exactly what he's got right here. He's got space, plenty of space to throw the cows down, plenty of space to throw down the pit mines, and he's got time because he's all alone. He is quite literally all alone. Um, so I guess the difference here is that, like... The two, these two guys to the north, there was a bit more of a fight going on. Whereas, like, red or blue still kind of looks like he's uh, he's in the game. That's for sure. Uh, but I think they do... Yeah, he, blue actually get, gets uh, tapped out, like, right as uh, orange gets tapped out. I don't know what does more DPS here. Uh, whether it's the... Or, or now that I think about it, one of the other... Actually, one of the things I should have done is I should have had three shamans holding my relics ready to go, and I didn't. And that was a mistake, because if I had three shamans, then I can just do a triple walla lol, and he kind of has to back, and then that gives my mangoes time. It gives me time to get in. I probably needed more to call more vills to repair on my, on my main town center. I didn't realize how fast it was going down. Um, so that's another thing as well. But these these are all Mongol things. Like, right, th this is why the Mongols are so hard to play in FFA because you don't have access to stone walls. Like, he, he doesn't even need to make rams, right? Like, I, th I think he had a couple of sprinkles and that was about it. Um, but other than that, there was no siege in that army. It was all just infantry. Um, and, you know, right now is about the time that you want to be going into that, um, going into the, the stone walls. Let's have a look and see. So he's at 165 pop. Like, he is absolutely booming right now. Second layer of stone walls coming up, or at least, like, the second layer of the onion coming up. A little bit of a farm transition. Cows going ham. He's just stacking up units, and this is exactly what you want to do. And then you just go on the offensive. He's got, like... And the thing is, even if we kill this army straight away... And have a look at this, okay? Look at this. You've actually got four players that you can choose from. Like, this is amazing for him. Like, oh, this, what a perfect spawn. He's got four players all evenly across the middle like that. I guess he, we were just the unlucky ones that got focused. But I guess he also knew that we we were kind of a bit weak as well. Like, if you have a look at score here... Actually, we're not really the weakest one. Uh, there, are, Pink is being attacked by purple, I guess. And I guess pink is stuck in the middle. Pink is a, Pink's attacking yellow. It's... it's <laughs> this, yeah, 100% I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if uh, Red wins this game. Just because he, he's got his eco set up. And that's the hardest thing to do is the Marlians. You know, space time. That's, that's what you need. Let's keep watching though, because I want I want to see on this defensive. So these outposts, I think I went I went the wrong way on the outpost. So can we please, 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 please pause? 
So with this, I with the town center, I think I probably should have popped the king in here first and then come back around there because I didn't realize like I'm going to come here and then I kind of had to move around and then the ranged units were just killing me. He had a lot of ranged units in here. 18 archers, 25 donzos, 15 sofa. We did a good job in holding this though. I, th I think we could have done it right. We're trying on quarter speed here. So as long as we... we I think we keep this mango alive because we made sure that we're on top of it. We have a second mango as well that's going to come out. So we have to watch it in quarter speed because if we can't, if we watch it in anything higher, it'll be tough. So yeah, three, I, I should have had three um, Walla Lols in here. And I, I'm almost like tempted. You put them in the town center and then pop them out here. And then that way he's kind of like, where, where does he go? If you pop them in the town center and then just Walla Lol, Walla Lol, Walla Lol, triple Walla Lol right here on the back. Now just remember behind this, right? Like he's got so many resources stacked up in the bank uh, and round two will be coming shortly. Gosh, you do so much siege when you're in Imperial Age. 30 torch damage on the sofas? Dude, don't Fire Lancers do like 34 siege damage? Dude, what? why do people even make sofas? Oh, so, uh, Fire Lancers. What a useless unit. Yeah, so here I pop the king out. Oh, he's already out, so he's up here. We're going to cover with the Wallalol. But the town center falls at the exact same time, so it makes it very easy for him to go for the Wallalol here. Oh, I did not mean to do that. He left his sprinkles down there. Where's our second mango? Second mango's firing off. So right there, like we that should have been a triple wall lol. So that, that was a mistake. And now we do the king hop. The only thing was we didn't have enough outposts to get it back to the town center from the beginning. These seven villages in here, I mean, I should have had all three of these TCs stacked with vills, including this one. And then I should have had repairing vills as well. Like look at look at this. All of these th I've got 31 vills down here that uh, that should be helping out. Not to mention these guys up here, but you know, you want everybody on board in in this situation. And I feel like we're, we're probably going to survive this if we kept our king alive a little bit longer. Like, we've got double mango. We've got the spears to cover for the mangoes. Um, that's, that's like the main thing. And we've got four TC, so we're going to be able to catch up on eco. I say catch up on eco. We're at 78 vils here. Yeah, yeah, we're at... We're, I, I, don't, I don't hate this position because we are going imp as well. So here, I should have... I, I was thinking I'm going to come out and then go into it. But obviously, you know, one of the things I don't realize is there's so many archers here as well now I, I did read there is a bug that if you die to poison damage you won't actually get the 50 population so let's take a look and see whether that will come across here because right there okay it looks like he does get the damage or he does get the uh, population which is good cool uh yeah so i wouldn't be surprised if red just just steamrolls this game so it looks like uh, actually purple's in a pretty good spot as well after he got that kill i'm pretty sure he just that's his, is that his first kill Need to, make, need to make more houses, buddy. He's got 18 houses. Did he not pick up that kill? Well, there's, there's no king here. Was it green that picked up the kill? No, green got blue. Yellow surely didn't get the kill. Oh, yellow's in a tough spot here, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, so I think definitely going the second TC earlier, that's going to be a big strategy for the Mongols. We want to get our boom on. And then maybe going Castle Age um, off, off the second TC. Finding deer is really important. That's why I, I was really prioritizing this location. Having deer is, is just the most important thing early on because it allows you to get very, very quick timings uh, in, into Castle Age or to Feudal Age to, to power up everything. It just helps you out, especially when you don't start with guaranteed sheep kind of like you do in 1v1. So I think going on to deer is very, very important. Um, overall though, this, this game looks like it is... Dude, look, have a look at this. Red is preparing for the late game. Is he going for trade? Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, that's actually... You want to know something really fucking shit about the new system where your landmarks die? You can't trade to the silver tree. He should be able to trade to this silver tree, but he can't trade to it because the landmark died. And I think that's pretty stupid. I'm going to be honest. I think that needs to be fixed. Uh, same with the Abbasid. If you kill an Abbasid player or they surrender and you've got their House of Wisdom, that used to be a market. You don't have that anymore. And that was really good because they'd always put the House of Wisdom in the corner of the map because it was their only landmark. So you just come in, kill the king. House of Wisdom still stands. So I, I think that they should probably make it. I'm going to give that feedback right now that the Silver Tree or landmarks that act as a market should retain their market status even if they are... Um, even if they're destroyed. But then the problem is, how do you deny that from someone? Because that was always our, the big thing, was that if someone was trading with a dead player, which was always fine, you could just go and kill that player's landmark. The problem is you can't kill a player's landmark. So how do you go about fixing that? I really don't know. Maybe, what if you could repair 
the landmarks of dead people. Because, like, I would 100% commit to, for this silver tree, like, bro, you just, he's got markets all, all down here. What's, what's he trading with? There's nothing he can trade with. Wait, oh, my market. I've just got a market, bro. I've literally got a market, dude. He's just going to trade with my market. Well, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. He gets a beautiful trade as well here. Dude, well done. Alter Egos Joe. This game's yours, buddy. All right, we'll leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.